it's um it's Ron back here today with a, another um kind of product uh, you know unboxing and first look we won't call it a review yet we'll just call it a first look here i just received this in the mail it's the uh video conference lighting kit and it's made by uh viewflex and i ordered this from amazon.com um i ordered this you know with my own money i wasn't sent you know this for review um but I'm gonna do a full unboxing and uh, we're gonna do like a first look video and then I'll um, charge it up and we will do a, a comeback with a, you know, like a review uh, video down the road a little bit when we've got to uh, work it out. And what it is, is it's, um, you can use this uh, along with uh, like a webcam or, you know, your, your webcam built in on your uh, like laptop to uh, light you, you know, during the, um, session you know for a lot of now people are doing uh you know with the covid a lot of people are doing zoom conferences from their house and they have poor lighting where they look like they're in the shadows or you know they're in a dark area of the house they don't have a good light on where this will uh, provide like a good like face light so you will look better in your uh, zoom conferences or you know if you do online streaming like i do uh your stream yard conferences that so will give a we'll plug stream yard here so um let me start, stop talking here and let's get into the unboxing portion of this video. All right, folks. Uh, uh, sorry, I got this um, in the afternoon lighting here. We got, uh, you know, some uh, uh, light coming in from the blinds here, but I, I think we'll be okay. Um, so in a little bit of a shadow here, I'm talking about a lighting device in here. I got like a little bit of a shadow. Let me put this light on here. Maybe that'll help a little bit here. Yeah, maybe brighten things up a little bit. So there we go. Okay, so this is the... Um, you know the video conference lighting kit and we're going to open it up right now it says eco-friendly and it says it uh lifetime uh 30, hours and uh not sure what that's 180 means here um on the back here we have a little um you know uh we'll call it the uh, instructions here or a feature list or main features by by color product led light adjustable brightness and color temperature so that that's good features real-time uh, visual power mon monitor rechargeable built-in lithium battery support uh, support working while charging so that means you, know, you can have it plugged in and using it so that's a good thing designed with a uh, three cold shoe mounts for extended connection equipped with a laptop uh, suction cup for simple installation and 180 foldable rotation of laptop suction cup flexible and convenient so they kind of show little pictures here of a guy using a laptop and then a woman using it just as a kind of a standalone desktop light so uh let's get right into this uh, uh unboxing and you know i don't recall the price for it right now but it wasn't expensive but we will have that listed you down below in the um you know the show notes what the cost is and you know an amazon affiliate link to uh, go ahead and purchase one if you're interested in it, uh, I make a small commission on all my Amazon affiliate links. So, um, and anything you you purchase, uh, you know, when you uh, link in, uh, you know, when you come into those links. So, if you would buy this and you would buy a uh, MacBook Pro along with it, I would get the full commission on on both items. So, hint, hint, uh, if you're going to buy something big, uh, you know, use my link. But, uh, okay, now that the shameless promotion is over. We're gonna get right into the uh, the good stuff here. So we has uh, it, you know it seems to be well packaged here. Uh, it has uh, this little clamp here that open the box, and this is like a little product hook if you're gonna. It's gonna be in a brick and mortar store. I mean, there's not too many brick and mortar stores left now, but if it was, it has the hook there. Okay, so here we go. It has like a blister pack type plastic thing in here. All right, so that's that's it for the uh, what's in the box there. Uh, let's see here. We have um, some uh, instructions here that we will get to in a second here. But here's the you know the main uh, the main uh, attraction here. You get this um, suction cup mount here. Similar. All right, so um, here we are. This is like the suction cup uh, type device that you usually see people using their cars to mount stuff on their you know their car mirrors or. I mean the car windows and have like a phone or something on it, but we have this clamp here uh, for the light itself. So um, you know this is like the sticky part here. It's got a piece of plastic here, 
and uh, this was probably where the um, the actual device goes. Let's let's pull that light out right now. So the further I hold it back, the better it looks. So there's the light itself. Okay, here is the we call this the cold shoe mount on the bottom there. I'm trying to try to show it in the in the best light there. The cold shoe mount with an adjustable tightening ring uh, right there. And as we go around here, here is a uh, looks like a USB-C style port here. I hope you can see that in the, in this awful lighting here. I'm getting sorry, folks. I'm, you know, I want to do this in the daylight because I'm going to be busy at night here. Uh, but that take my word for it, that's a USB-C port. Um, these are the uh, the, cold, the three cold shoe mounts that they talked about in the description all the way around the, the, the drone. Again, sorry for this terrible shadow. I just, I don't know what I could do. If I let more light in, it'd probably be even worse. I, I don't know. Okay, that may be better with more light in here. So, okay. So, sorry, we have an air show going on around here today. Um, um, <coughs> it's in Atlantic City tomorrow and they're practicing today. So here is the back of the uh, device here. This is uh, so trying to get in a good light here. This is called the Viewflex. Um, that's the name of the product. We talked about that earlier. And here is uh, a, a normal off button here. And here is an M button. I don't know what the M means. And here's a plus and minus button over here. So probably to adjust the uh, lighting um, brighter or, or darker. And that M button is probably something to do with the change in the, uh, like the, the colors um, in the different, uh, we'll call it white balances. And of course, on off button is simple. And these look like vents to relieve the, the heat in the back here, you know, uh, as the light, uh, you know, gets. So you say you can hot shoe this on anything else you have. Like if you have some kind of a tripod or if you want to put it on a, uh, you know, any type of tripod mount or whatever, uh, you know, you have that uh, cold shoe mount top of a camera, for instance, uh, you know, top of a GoPro with, um, uh, you know the media mod on it you could use this so I mean, this is very versatile in, in many ways so you know we would uh you know put it on here spin it around you know get it a little tight here then we can take this top part here tighten it down here you know so then we have it uh on here real tight takes a lot of turning here probably turn on the bottom here too make sure we're going the correct way here okay so now we we got somewhat a uh, tighten up here. Alrighty. So, um, you know, you have it on this mount here. So, uh, you would take, uh, you know, I, I guess you would say I got a laptop right over here. Yeah. So, uh, you would, you could position this, uh, you know, you stick it right back here, position this so the, the uh, light would hit your, um, you know, face and light up during any, you know, Zoom type uh, work conferences or, you know, even stream yards, which we use for our live shows. So if you live stream, uh, uh, you know, for business or pleasure, or just uh, use Zoom to communicate with far flung, far flung family and friends, uh, this would be the perfect light, especially if you're in a dark room with a lot of shadows and your face, they can't see your face because of the, uh, you know, it's not what lit well enough. It's in the dark, so um, you know this would be the a uh, very good option for that. And of course, you said I've already shown you could take this off of here and just use it on top of a you know a DSR style camera, a, a GoPro with a media mod on. So there's many different you know uses of this thing. You know this this piece gives it makes it uh, you know very uh, useful. This we'll call it this uh, car style mount. Um, and uh, that's about it on the camera. We'll go ahead and charge this guy up, uh, you know, by its provided a USB-C port. And then we will come back with a, uh, you know, more of a practical test rather than, you know, just a, a talking theory. But let's, let's see what we get here in our little instruction booklet here. Um, got a few things in here. Let's get this piece of red tape off of here. Maybe I can use my letter opener to help... Uh, Get this thing open here. Sorry, folks, we're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut this open. So, I uh, got a handy pair right here. Uh, they really, they didn't, they spared no expense putting that piece of tape on it. So, let's see what we got here. Here we have a little ViewFlex, a uh, little car here, a QC pass here, certification. I guess that's their logo. 
Here's a, it looks like their um, little information card here, like a warranty card here that you can typically get with these products here. There's their service warranty. Uh, here's their little instruction booklet, user manual. Um, you know, seems to be, um, uh, you know, pretty small writing here. So it's going to be harder for somebody who has, um, you know, needs readers, uh, uh, corrective glasses. Uh, they're, you're going to need them to read this. Uh, gives you, uh, shows you what comes with it. Uh, the various functions of different, but well, we will go on a full review in a, in a later video. So uh, let's see what else we have in this box here. Here it looks like uh, could be our charging uh, type cables here. So let's get this little baggie open here and see what we got in here. This is, I think, the final piece of the puzzle. So, okay, here we go. It's a little, um, it's your charging cord here, of course. So let's uh, take that, uh, you know, bread, bread tie off there. And as I told you before, it's a USB-C. You can see it better on the cord to the USB-A here, which is you know, your typical cord nowadays. The whole world seems to be moving over to USB-C. So that's a good thing. So, okay, uh, we will come back maybe in another uh, portion of the video and we will show the light, you know, fully charged and, and working. And maybe we'll, you know, uh, be in a situation where I don't have a whole lot of other light going on so you can see how it can light your face up uh, or, you know, light anything up during, uh, you know, a, a darker environment. So, okay, we'll be back with um, more of the practical uh, working portion of this video. So stay tuned. All right, folks, I want to show you a little bit um, about the, um, the video conference uh, light from uh, View Flex here. We've already done the unboxing. So um, I think I've showed you it has cold shoes on uh, all three sides, uh, both the right and the left and the top. And uh, of course it has a quarter inch screw that I have mounted on this little, like, uh, little mini tripod here and there's your USB-C uh, controller. And of course here is your light and it's diffused a little bit too. So here's some of the buttons here. So this is the power on and off button. So we will um, hit this button here and see the blue lights come on. And now, you know, the light is on. And uh, over here we have the, uh, you know, the make it, you know, the minus would make it uh, less bright and the plus would make it more bright. And these four bars indicate that it's fully charged the four blue lights. If you only had like three, you know, it'd be like 75% charged, the two blue lights, 50% charged, and so on. And um, and then we have one more button, we have the M button. And finally, the M button up top here is the change, like the, you know, the kind of white balance, whether you want to make it um, cooler, you know, or, uh, you know, uh, which means, um, you know, it kind of, the colors would be more on the blue side, or if you want to make it warmer, well, the colors would be more on the, uh, you know, the kind of yellow or orange side of things. So let me see if I can uh, show this off at all. Okay. Um, let's see if we can push this up a little bit here. Okay. So let me hit the white balance thing here and see if I can demonstrate this one. There we go. See, now I made it much cooler. I got more blue in there where you can uh, take that down to where you only have the... Um, you know, the, now make now I made it warmer. You know, and the other way I made it cooler. So I hope that showed up on 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 camera one more time. Yeah, I I, I think that may not show up as well on camera as it does in in, in real life. But uh, believe me, I, I hope it shows up better than I can see in my monitor. But it it it, it does work. You know, well, you know it. Uh, um, you know, I don't know, compare it to anything, but you, you definitely change it from warm to cool or whatever. So uh, anyhow, that's some of the, uh, you know, the features. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to use um, this piece over here, this kind of suction cup mount that's usually said people usually use in cars or whatever. But uh, let me uh, take this off of here and uh, off the quarter inch screw tripod and get it on there. And then we're going to, you know, show how you can use this. Um, to help uh, if you're doing a zoom call or something like this, like like even if I have this tripod right here, you could you could aim it up at your um, 
you know, you could kind of aim it up at your face here and you can get some good face light, uh, you know, with, with that. Uh, uh, I don't want to readjust my camera again because I haven't had Daddy's downward motion. But if I was like, you know, if I had this right on me, take the shadows off my face in, in, in a certain type of call. But we're going to show it more when we get to the laptop here. Okay, we will be right back. Okay, as I mentioned, it, it's included in the box one of these suction cup mount deals that you usually see, you know, as I said, using in cars to... You know, put your, in the old days, put your GPS on your windshield. Nowadays, your cell phone. And uh, if you want to have like a little dash cam, like a GoPro, they suction mounts good in your windshield. But what this is here for today is this, the suction mount on the back of uh, your laptop here. So let me, um, you know, put it down on here like this. And I guess I put them in the middle. Doesn't really matter for demonstration purposes only here. So, okay, you, you suction it down and then you, then you push it down like that. So now it's gonna stay on pretty good. So let's open the laptop up and, and I didn't get exact straight, but again, we're, we're here just for demonstration purposes here today. So now I kinda got it to uh, get a, sorry, I got it a little crooked up there, but uh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna readjust the camera here and give you like a wider view of, uh, of what's what's going on here. Tighten it up here a little bit here. It's a lot of knobs and stuff to fidget with here. But okay, let me move this camera and give you a wider look. All right, folks, I have it kind of set up here, you know, where I've got the camera back a little bit. I've got my laptop here. And imagine I'm doing like a Zoom call right now or any type of video conferencing, uh, you know, tool here. So, and you know, my, my uh, you know, I mean, I've got light here. You know, I've got more light than usual since I've, um, I'm sitting by a window here where the sun's coming now. But, you know, like I say, you know, I still have shadows on my face. So say, you know, you um, you turn this guy on, and uh, and of course I won't be able to find the button without turning around here. Uh, okay, there's the button. Okay, let me turn up a little bit. I'm turning the the power of the light up here. So. Um, See how that sort of takes some of the shadows off my face and you can make it brighter. You can, you know, make it brighter to the point where, uh, you know, you can't see the darn thing. Hold on, I'm trying to get my monitor here to see how bright it really is. So let me turn up just a little bit more. Yeah, so see how that sort of takes the, you know, I don't have the perfect angle here, but uh, it takes the, the shadows off my face and doesn't make me look as dark. And this is even more important if I was in a, a darker room, uh, even if you're in a cafe and you have a lot of shadows on you. you and even if that's just face, you know, your whole upper torso is in the dark or whatever, and it's like nobody's there in, in the video conference call or, or Zoom call, and then this will light your entire face, upper torso up, so people can see, hey, there's a real person there. There's not just some voice coming from the shadows. So, um, you know, this is, you know, works very well on top of a laptop, and you saw you can easily mount a little tripod if you don't want to have it suction cup to, you know, to your laptop, or you can suction cup at the anything like a metal or, or glass surface, of course. So, um, yeah. So that's about it. I don't want to, you know, go on and on, uh, you know, uh, with this video. I mean, it's a, it's a simple device. It it does just a couple things, and uh, but it does them well. It does them affordably. Um, you know, it does offer the you know, the white balance changing, the cool, the warm. It offers, uh, you know, uh, the brightness. Uh, you know, up and down, and uh, very portable. That that uh, there's cold shoes on it. Uh, make it useful if you want to put it on something like a like a gimbal or a portable camera so you can connect them uh, very easily and it's more lightweight it, it's lighter weight than the competition like this is like a the loom cube uh, uh, mini and this uh, product by view sorry viewflex is much lighter in weight than this and you know much more affordable too than the product from uh, loom cube so um, again I will and this, uh, you know, review today of the ViewFlex um, uh, video conference light system here. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this, 
um, this product, go ahead and leave them down below and I will try to, to, to get back to you on it. And I will circle back in a couple months from now to see if this thing's still performing three to six months down the road, if I'm still happy with it, if it's still working well. Because it's always important, you know, these you know these first reviews you know are nice to get the information out there but it's also nice to know that the product's still performing well you know uh, somewhat down the road here and i'm still happy with it so uh thanks for joining and don't forget to uh hit the subscribe button to the channel uh ring the bell notification so you'll see uh when i post more videos like this and and that thumbs up if you got anything out of this video